Do you know what to gaze at something means? It means to look at something for a long time. And normally the thing that you are gazing at is a long way away. So we might say, for example, that I gaze at the distant hills, or I gaze at the horizon. And where is the best place for gazing? Beside the sea, of course. People often stand on the shore, or on the rocks, or on a cliff, and gaze out to sea. Sometimes they're looking at a boat far away at sea. Sometimes they are looking at nothing in particular. They are just gazing. If you go to a place called Crosby, near Liverpool, on the west coast of England, you will see one hundred men gazing out to sea. They are not real men, however. They are sculptures made of cast iron. Each one is six feet tall that is, about 180 centimetres. They were made by the sculptor and artist Antony Gormley, who modelled them on his own body. His 100 men have not always been at Crosby. For a time they were beside the sea at Cuxhaven in Germany, and later they moved to Stavanger in Norway. But when Antony Gormley first saw the wide, empty beach at Crosby, he knew that this was the right place for his one hundred men. But in Britain you are not allowed just to go to a beach and put a hundred statues on it. No, you have to get permission first. You have to ask the local authority for planning consent. In 2005 the local authority agreed that Antony Gormley could put his statues on the beach and keep them there for sixteen months. Some people did not like the statues. They said that they spoiled the beach, or that they disturbed feeding seabirds, or that they were dangerous. Some people complained because the statues are of naked men, with no clothes. But other people thought that the statues were wonderful, and that they made people think in new ways about the empty beach and the sea. After a lot of argument, the local authority has now agreed that Gormley's 100 men can stay on Crosby Beach permanently. Anthony Gormley's sculptures are now quite well known in Britain. We have one of them in Birmingham. It is called Iron Man. But his most famous statue is called the Angel of the North. It is a huge statue, over twenty meters tall, of an angel with outspread wings. The wings are the size of the wings on a jumbo jet. It stands on a hill overlooking the town of Gateshead in northeast England. You can see it if you drive north into Newcastle along the main A1 road. At first, the Angel of the North was very controversial, but now most people love it. It has become a famous landmark. Goodbye.